Uh, today we have 21 suspects uh, that are to be paraded for various offenses. And among them, we have additional 17 suspects arrested, uh, arrested in connection with the post-election violence uh, that happened uh, when the governorship result was announced in Zampara State. If you could remember, uh, we arrested 40 suspects in connection with the attacks on offices of uh, uh, APC, government facilities, and individual houses, mostly of politicians. So 40 suspects were initially arrested. We recovered uh, vandalized and looted property was millions of naira, and we should case them uh, to the press. And uh, all the suspects were uh, uh, arrested, have been charged to court, and have been remanded in prison facility. So like I said, arrest of additional 17 suspects who took part in the, in the post-election violence that led to the vandalization and looting of facilities in various APC offices, including uh, campaign offices, government ministries and agencies, and houses mostly of politicians, and the recovery of looted and vandalized property. In continuation of the commitment of the Zampora Police Command under the leadership of the Commissioner of Police, CP Koloyus of PSC, to arrest and brought to book the perpetrators and collaborators of the post-election violence that erupted following the announcement of governorship election result in Zampora State. The police detectives, personally being led by the Commissioner of Police, succeeded in the arrest of additional 17 suspects and the recovery of exhibit uh, in connection with the case. It could be recalled that the command had earlier arrested 40 suspects and recovered some of the looted and vandalized property was millions of naira, which were showcased to the press and later charged to court and remanded in prison. So as a follow-up to the ongoing effort, the following suspects and exhibits were also arrested and recovered. Yusuf Magaji, a.k.a. Mayangua, age 60 years, and other 16 suspects. Some of the exhibits recovered include two semi-silence generators, belonging to the Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs, Busan. Two standing refrigerators, vandalized doors, windows, tables, chairs, electric wires, and different calibers of electronics. Set of cushions, chairs, 40 pieces of woman wrappers, Bugler proof for windows and two column rods for building reinforcement. So you can see additional looted and vandalized uh, property recovered. In addition to the one earlier recovered, 2040 suspects were arrested. Uh, the 17 suspects are also undergoing discrete police investigation. And uh, some of the informations are being used by the police detectives to arrest other perpetrators and uh, collaborators. Uh, 
and all of them will be judged to God for persecution so as to serve as deterrence uh, to others. So this is, this is all about the 17 suspect that took part in the post elections of violence in Zamfara State. That is to say, the police command had arrested uh, 57 because we earlier arrested 40 and we now have 17 making it 57 suspect arrested in connection with the post election violence in the first state. We have another achievement that has to do with the banditry activities in Zafra State. This one is a wanted notorious bandit who, until his arrest, terrorized Zafra State and its environs. The name of the suspect is Suleiman Balarebi, a 25 year old. On 29 March, 2023 at about 03.30 a.m., police detectives, while on patrol, acted on intelligence information and arrested the above-named suspect, who was already in the wanted list of the police for banditry, kidnapping, and other heinous crime against the good people of Zamfara State. In the course of investigation, the notorious bandit confessed of series of attacks and kidnapping on different communities in Zamfara State, where millions of Naira collected as a ransom from the relations. The suspect who further confessed of bearing GPMG rifle uh, during their operations mentioned some of his allies, which the police detectives is working assiduously to arrest. This case investigation is in progress. Another arrest we made is the arrest of two suspects in connection with being in possession of 18 rustic cows, three goats, and one sheep. The name of the suspect are Umar Abdullahi, a 32 year old, Sani Musa, uh, A.K.A. Dongodal, 55 year old, and another suspect now at large, Yahya, uh, A.K.A. Chiaman. This Yahya is now at large, but police is working seriously to get him arrested. Uh, investigate him and charge him to court also so as to face the full right of the law. The exhibit recovered include 18 cows, like I said, three goats and one sheep. On Friday, 31st March 2023, police, while on patrol, acted on intelligence information, intercepted and arrested three Toyota bus loaded with suspected stolen cows sheep and goat from Ansado to Kusau. On sighting the police, suspect attempted to abandon the vehicles and exhibit to escape, but they were rounded up and arrested by the police detectives. Suspects are currently undergoing discrete investigation that will lead to the arrest of their collaborators before being charged to court for prosecution. We also have another notorious member of Sarasuka uh, who are known to have uh, been uh, stopping people, innocent people, using different kind of dangerous weapons like cutlass, uh, Machet, like uh, different kind of dangerous weapons to rob people of their belonging, especially 
handset. So we can say handset snatchers. They specialize in snatching handset. So he was arrested by the police with a dangerous weapon. He is now undergoing discreet investigation so as to arrest other perpetrators. That is his partners in crime. And all of them, at the end of the investigation, they will be charged to go for prosecution. So I want to use this opportunity to thank members of the press, as well as members of the public for their continuous support and collaboration with the police and other security agencies, without which our effort to lead the state of activities of criminal will not have been acknowledged. So, on the other hand, the Commissioner of Police, CP Colois, applauded the people of Zamfara for their unalloyed support and partnership, like I said. We also thank the press uh, for their usual support to uh, and partnership. And he taxed them to sustain the synergy with the police and other security agencies for effective service delivery. Thank you very much. May God bless all of us.